guys, let me turn the camera around. There we go, that's where we're doing the pumpkin. All right. Good to see everybody. Let me hop around the other side here so you guys can see me. Yeah, I just saw somebody mention Leatherface. Jacob said, Nate, unbox Leatherface. Um, I was thinking about it. It depends on how many viewers we get, I suppose. So right now we're trying something different. This is obviously uh, different than what I usually do, the vertical live. The reason I'm trying that is because YouTube told me that uh, it's going to be putting vertical lives on uh, shorts. Like you can, as you're scrolling through shorts, you might come across my live stream on the shorts feed. So I figured I'll try to do this on uh, the vertical so that uh, maybe we can get some more people in here because people will be uh, scrolling through the shorts more than they scroll through the regular videos. So I got a Spirit Halloween bag to put my guts in this time because I just bought the Ghostface stencil book, and this has some awesome stencils on it. Check out all the ones in the front there. I'm pretty sure that's all that it comes with. Uh, this was six bucks, not bad at all. And you can take the papers out and uh, trace them, but I think I'm just gonna probably do it by hand. Eh, it depends on how I feel whenever we open them up and see how, uh, how hard they are. And this is a kind of a smaller pumpkin, so I don't know if these stencils will fit on there. They probably will. We'll figure it out. We'll see. So we'll go through the ghost face uh, stenciled in a minute here and decide which one we want to carve. But first, let's see who's all in here. Everybody say hello so I can say hello back to you. I'm going to start right where my screen is showing me. We've got Zoe. Hello, Zoe. Kieran, <coughs> Jacob, Sandra, Sandra, <laughs> uh, Hexbond, Spirit, Halloween fan, X fan, uh, let's see, Bryson, hello Bryson, hi Odin, hello uh, Halloween Junkie, hi Brenda, hi Olivia, hi Maria, hi Cole, Unbluable, hello, Roxy, uh, Michael, hello Michael, hi Meek, we got 32 people in here right now, alright, good to see everybody, hi Maria. Ghostface is in here. Ghostface, we're carving you today. We got plenty of your stencils. All right. What are you guys watching on? Are you guys watching on laptops, cell phones, TVs? Let me know what you're watching on. I'm curious. Because I want to know if this vertical thing is going to work out pretty good. People might like the vertical, vertical streams better than they like uh, the regular ones. That looks good. My wife just showed me uh, on her phone in the background there. It looks really good. Phones, all right. Tony C's, what's Tony C's? MacBook Air, iPad, ooh, Brittany's on an iPad. Hello, Brittany, I didn't say hello to you yet. Roxy's watching on a phone, Zoe iPhone, Meek phone, Hexbond phone, all right. Cool, yeah, it probably looks a lot better on the phone than the laptop, obviously, because the phone is naturally vertical. Didn't pass your science, that's too bad. That's okay. You keep studying, and you'll pass the next time. Mike, hello, Mike. Smartphone, laptop. Ooh, a nice restaurant. All right. Restaurants are always fun. You guys want to guess what I'm drinking right now? Take a guess what I'm drinking. Venti, hello, Venti. I'm doing great. How are you doing? We're about to carve a pumpkin. iPhone. Hello, Playtime. Everybody's saying iPhone. Kieran, that was a good guess. The first guess, yes, this is a Coca-Cola. Yep, Coca-Cola is one of my favorites. I also like Pepsi. Usually if I'm eating like pizza, uh, I'll have a Pepsi with it. 43 people it looks like we got in here right now. Hello, uh, Phil. Davy Jones. All right, we got a decent amount of people in here. We'll go ahead and start uh, carving in a second here. Hello, BFDI Roblox fan. Cider, I wish I had some cider. I see the hearts you guys are sending me. Thank you so much for the hearts. We got 52 people. We're gonna go through these stencils and see what, uh, you know, what stencils we got. I think it's just all the ones on the front here. And uh, we'll have to do a vote and see which one we wanna do. Cause I don't know which one I wanna do yet. They're all really cool. Um, I think my favorite one might be this one right here, no space where my finger's pointing. That might be my favorite one. 
Pineapple Fantas, Tasty. Hello, Rudy. Halloween is in two weeks, yes. We're gonna go ahead and crack open this brand new stencil book. I just bought this a moment ago over at Spirit Halloween. So we've got a nice Spirit Halloween bag to put our uh, pumpkin guts in. And look at this yellow pumpkin. This is a nice, pretty yellow Halloween pumpkin. My wife picked that one out at the uh, pumpkin patch. I like this one. I hate to carve it because it is so nice, but we'll have to just go out and get some more pumpkins later. I wanted to get a big one, but I didn't have time to stop at the store and get a big one before we did the stream. Uh, unbox Leatherface, please, please, please. I'd like to, I really do, and I want him to be set up in my office. So I'll think about it. Depends on how many people we got watching whenever uh, the time comes. Uh, what do you guys think? Should I unbox Leatherface on the stream tonight up in my office? What do you guys think? Uh, you got your costume, Sully from Monsters, Inc. Awesome, ducks. Excited for the FNAF movie? Yes, me too. I want to do some uh, video game uh, streams, like live streams of Five Nights at Freddy's. Probably uh, Security Breach or anything that I can play on a VR headset. I might get a VR headset and try to live stream from that if I can figure it out. Uh, let's see. Huggy Wuggy for Halloween. Awesome. I haven't heard anybody say that they're going to be Huggy Wuggy yet. Everybody's saying yes. Yes. Everybody's saying yes that I should do uh, the Leatherface unboxing. I wonder if I can figure out how to add like a... Usually you can, you can do like a poll, but I don't think you can do it on um, live streams. Oh, there it is. Create a poll. Yes. We've done it before, I remember. Okay. Should I unbox and set up Leatherface this stream? And we'll start the poll so anybody can go on there and vote. Turning 13, November 29th, November 17th, I'm going to be 26 years old. I can't believe it. I'm not too happy about that. Spider-Man is my favorite, but I like the originals. Ooh, Whack-A-Mole Clown, all right. Killer Clown, sweet. Okay, Cole, have fun. Have fun, Cole, in Orlando. That is so cool. All right, guys, I think we're ready. Hello, Starlight, good to see you. If you guys can hear me all right, just let me know. Everything. Uh, nobody said that they can't, so I think everything's good. Barbara Ellis, hello, Barbara Ellis. Help Wanted, yes, we can probably play Help Wanted. It just depends. Uh, I gotta find all these games. I have a PlayStation Five or a PlayStation Four, um, so whatever I can get on there, and then I might get like the MetaQuest Three and uh, do some live streaming of VR horror games on the MetaQuest Three. So if you guys want to see that, go to my gaming channel and join it. Um, right after the Halloween season, we'll start doing gaming videos, gaming live streams, and stuff like that. So that'll be fun. I can't wait for that. Jordan Price said, Leatherface. 96% of you said yes so far. Uh, I don't know how many people. Oh, 28 votes. Okay. We got 74 people watching, guys. We're about to get started carving this pumpkin. Yes. Tobias, the pumpkin is yellow. Check that out. That is a nice, pretty yellow pumpkin. My wife picked it out at the uh, pumpkin patch. Sam from Trick or Treat. That's a good costume. Pretty woman, Leatherface. All right, Phil. That's a good one. I haven't bought that mask yet, but I want to so bad. That's one of my favorite Leatherface masks yet. Uh, you wish Poppy Playtime was on VR? Me too. I wonder if I could find... Somebody might have done something where I can find that game on there. Uh, sometimes people make them. Uh, what'd you say? It just came out. Uh, play Spider-Man 2. Maybe. I was going to do like horror games and scary games uh, to kind of keep the Halloween-y uh, uh, theme on all my channels. Elena, hello, Elena. Um, turn the camera. Why turn the camera? Do you mean like turn it around so you can see the front of the pumpkin while I'm carving it? Is that what you mean? Oh, well, it's already, I, I can't make it landscape because I already chose to do vertical. Uh, I'm going to try out the vertical because I want to see if more people will join due to that. Uh, and so far we got 77 people watching. And we haven't even started carving the pumpkin, so I think vertical's working out. Um, YouTube told me that if I do uh, live streaming on vertical, 
then it will put my live stream on the shorts, uh, the shorts list. So as you're scrolling through shorts, you'll come across my video. So if you guys are uh, joining and you've never seen me before or something, let me know if you came from the shorts feed. I'd love to know that. I'd love to know if it worked. Captain Davy Jones. What do you plan to carve? Are you not sure yet? Kai said. I'm going to carve one of these Leatherface stencils here. I usually don't use stencils, but I saw these at Spirit Halloween and I wanted to get them so bad. So I bought them today and I'm going to choose one of them to carve. Uh, don't know which one yet. If this is all there are, I mean, we'll, we might do a vote. We might have to kind of vote on them. So let's open it up and see uh, what's in here. It might just be these ones that are on the front. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six of them on the front of the stencil book here. Let me hold this a little bit closer and see if you guys can see that pretty good. And how's that look on there? Is it too delayed for you to see it? It just needs to be closer on some of them. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Let me open this up. Um, okay. So... The first one it shows is just Leatherface's, or Leatherface, <laughs> I'm so excited about Leatherface. Ghostface's face right there. Second one is also Ghostface's face. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then we've got this one, I like this one a lot. That's uh, Ghostface um, with his robe and everything. I kind of do like that one. I wish my video wasn't so delayed on here because I want to make sure you guys can see that. It looks like you can. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. There's another one. That one actually has the ghost face uh, logo or whatever right there as well. That's a cool one. Ghost face lives with a knife, a dripping knife. That's cool. We also do have a candle here, guys. Usually I don't have a good candle, but I've got a nice little uh, tea light candle here. So after we carve our pumpkin, we can light it up right away. All right. Let's keep going through these and see. Some other cool ones in here. A couple more left. This one has Ghostface with the knife. I like that one as well. Ghostface with the knife. You're not late. You're just on time, Alex. Good to see you. Is anyone else uh, carving pumpkins? Oh, that was it. That was all of them. What? Was there one more? It's like stuck. Here we go. No, that's it. Oh, okay. Well, they're cool anyways. That's all the ones that are in there. So which one do you guys think we should do? Should we do, let's see. Let me look and see what my favorite ones are. I like Ghostface with the robe, but I think the one that I might want to do, either this one, here's option one, and let me know which one you guys like best. Here's option one, and we'll skip that one there. I like this one. We'll go ahead and say option two on that one. That's option two. All right. And I don't think I want to do the bloody knife. It's a cool one, but we'll skip it for now. Here's option three. That's a cool one with the knife. That's option three. And is there another one I wanted to do? Oh, that was it. <laughs> what? One, two, three, four. Yeah, I guess there's five of them. Okay. All right, guys, let's see what you guys are saying. Let me look at the comments real quick. <laughs> I should probably do a poll. 50 people voted and said, yes, we should do Leatherface setup. So we will do that tonight, guys. I'm going to end that poll, and I'm going to start another one, uh, because that's how we'll figure out which one or which... Uh, stencil we're going to use. So let me start a new poll. Which stencil should we carve? What are you doing? And then I'll uh, one, two, and three. I gave you guys three options. I'm going to start the poll right now and then I'll go through the options again so that you guys can see while you're voting. Okay. So we've got... Let me get this open here. Option one. Just leather... Or, I keep calling him Leatherface. Just Ghostface's mask. That is option number one. 
Okay? Pretty cool, simple. Everybody knows it. Everybody knows who he is. Option number two. Ghostface with the robe. Lifting his arms up. I do like that one. That's option number two. Make sure you guys are entering your votes. And option number three. Oh, I should have done four options. Because there's another cool one on here. Because I like this one too. Look at that one. <laughs> this will be option number... Uh, I should have added four options because now I like that one. <laughs> the other one I liked was Ghostface with the knife there. But what we'll do is... Hmm. This will be option number three. So if you guys like that one, that's option number three. Option number three right there. Make sure you're putting your votes in. I'll check the votes in just a moment here. Uh, 106 people watching. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am, uh, we're doing votes right now. We'll go through the uh, options again in just a moment. I should have added four options. If you guys like option number four with the knife on there, I will just add that knife to option number one. So uh, if you like this one, we'll count that one as option number one. Because it's basically the same as number one, but uh, with the knife in it. So that's option number one, guys. We're going over these one more time for all the people just now joining. You can vote uh, for which stencil that we should uh, carve. This is coming out of a Ghostface stencil book uh, that I got at Spirit Halloween for six bucks. So there's option number one. And we'll go over option all the options again real quick here. That was number one. Let's go to number two. Number two is this one right here. Ghost face with a robe and his arms up. Tobias, thank you so much for your donation. You rock. Thank you so much for that super chat. You rock, Tobias Hughes. Awesome. <laughs> I appreciate that very much, Tobias. That's option number two right there, guys. And I'll show you option number three, and then we'll get to carving. I'll check what you guys voted. Uh, keep messing it up. This is option number three. Ghost face with a robe with the knife. All right, I'm gonna check the votes, guys. We're gonna see what you guys say. It looks like it looks like number three may be winning. Yes, number three. Wow, it is almost tied. It is tied for number one and number three. I'll go over those two again. We got 51 votes, but we got 105 people in here. So vote, guys. Voting is important to let me know what you want me to carve. This is option number one. I'll keep showing you guys until we uh, get a winner. But they are tied right now for one and three. That's option number one. You guys are awesome. <laughs> 52 votes, but there's 105 people watching. That's option number one. I'll show you option number two again, just for the fun of it. That's option number two. We do have 26% of people saying option number two. And... Option number three. That's the one that looks like it might win. It's, I mean, now they're tied again, number one and three. Somebody's just switching back and forth, I think. <laughs> you guys are hilarious. All right, number one and three are hashing it out. I'll, I'll pull these out of the, of the book so we can just hold them next to each other. Because definitely between option number one and number three. So I'm going to tear these out, hopefully without ripping the whole thing in half in the process. And guys, tomorrow night, instead of a regular video, I'm going to do a live stream. I believe I'm going to do this, uh, so don't hold me against it. It just depends on uh, what they say. i got to message the people, but I'm sure they'll have no problem with this. Um, tomorrow I'd like to do a live stream at my local Spirit Halloween, they're doing uh, trick-or-treating at Spirit Halloween. So I'd like to do a live stream of that. And they're going to do a costume contest for the kids there. So that'll be fun. I'd like to try and do a live stream of that instead of a regular video. So as always, 6 p.m. for that. I'm having a hard time. Let me grab my scissors. I'm having a hard time pulling that off. 
without actually destroying it. It looks like number one is winning now. Wow. So he might end up doing number one. But there was number two anyways. So I'll put that right there. And we'll pull out number one. Number one looks to be the winner. This is number one right here. And I'll get it all cut out of the book there. Hello, Tyreek. You guys are awesome. Checking everybody. Hello, Kai's Films. April. Juice. Zane. Ashish. Mm -hmm. Mystery Man. Is it healthy to eat a table? I don't know. Uh... Kinsley does it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll let you know about that. My daughter eats tables. <laughs> Was that a hiccup? No. Cutting out option number one, guys. It looks like number one is going to be the winner. It's a great option. 40% of people. We got 70 votes. And 40% of people said this. Option number one. Ghost face mask with the knife. When will you show us Leatherface, Jack and Emma said. Pretty soon. I've got Leatherface up in my office right now. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, uh, after I carve the pumpkin, I'll take you guys upstairs into the office. And then uh, we'll set up Leatherface on a live stream. I do like this one. Even though he didn't win the vote, I do like this one. We'll probably carve this one another day. So I'll save him. Uh, if you guys are just now joining, I bought this uh, Ghostface stencil book from spirit halloween for six bucks how awesome is that they also have uh uh friday the 13th they have the shining they have all kinds of these and uh six bucks a piece that is not a bad price for a branded uh stencil book i mean they got some awesome stencils in there too so i definitely want to get the friday the 13th one as well but we got the ghost face one for now we got 100 people watching thank you guys All right, that's option number one. Number one uh, is the winner of the poll with a 40% out of 70-something people voting. Oh, that's cool. When I ended the poll, it shows the results on there for you. Number one got 39%. Number three got 35 Number two got 24%. That's pretty cool. 78 votes. You guys are awesome. Christina... Carve a pumpkin. Is anybody else carving pumpkins today? McBain. All right. Let's go ahead and get this uh, drawn on here. Now, they made it to where you could, like, pull the, like, this is perforate, so I can pull this out. See? That comes off. And then I can stick it on there and trace it. Should I do that, or should I just wing it? I suppose I could do that. I could just do it uh, by the rules just to see how it turns out. I usually just wing it, but we'll pull it off there. See if we can do it without ripping it. Oops. <laughs> That's kind of tough. There we go. Take it off the top of his mask right now, and then we'll uh, trace that on there. And we'll pull off each piece and trace right along with it. I did pull off a little corner by accident, but there it is. That's the top part of his head, and we'll trace that on first. All right. I'm going to try to let's see which... I think that's about, like, what's facing you right now is about the best uh, area to do it on. Something like that. Wait a minute. I see what they mean. You pull them out, and then you put the piece of paper on there, and trace it like that on the paper. Ah, I get it. Okay. That makes a lot more sense than what I was going to do. The toughest part is just pulling these off without destroying the paper. Not too hard. They did a good job of... Uh, perforating the edges of it so all the little pieces do pop off pretty easily. There's the eye right there. That's cool. All right. Not too bad. <laughs> no, no. 
We'll go ahead and pull all these out and get started on this. We got 102 people watching. Thank you guys so much. Uh, if you guys, Kai said I'm getting an ad on the live. Yeah, YouTube does uh, add ads on the live. Somebody told me that the last time I did a live, um, and I actually didn't even know that that happened. I didn't know that they did uh, ads on live streams. Kind of tough to pull these off of here when you get to the smaller details. I definitely want the leather, or the, uh, I don't think they have a leather face one. If they did, I would have bought that for sure. But uh, they have Friday the 13th. They just didn't have that when I was at the store today. Otherwise, it would have been a tie between that and this one. But I'm happy with this one. Ghost Face is one of my favorites as well. Okay. So far, so good. It's coming out all right. We're just pulling out all the little pieces there. I've never used a stencil before. Hello, Gerald. Are you going to bake the pumpkin guts? Not this time. I don't think I'll bake any pumpkin guts this time. Last time I did, and I forgot to show you guys, like I forgot to taste test it on the stream for you, and then uh, I ended up taste testing it after the stream, and it actually was really good. I made the uh, seeds. And it was pretty tasty. I just seasoned them, seasoned them with some uh, seasoning, salt, and pepper, and oil, and it was really good. I think I put some paprika in there or something. You guys are awesome. Jaden, thank you so much for subscribing. You rock. You guys are awesome. Nate, do you live in, live in Texas, Maria said? Nope, I live in Ohio. Hold on. Good old Ohio. You guys can hear my baby daughter in the background. She's cranky because she didn't get more food. Just like her daddy, she's a snacker. I'll add that little detail on the bottom there uh, by hand. But that's coming out pretty good. I have never done a stencil before. Uh, so we'll see how this goes. So you pull off these little pieces here, like this is the mouth. You pull them off, and then you put the stencil on there like this. And then you just trace it and carve it out. I've never done that before. I'm I'm good enough with a knife and this stuff and and art stuff that I can uh, usually do everything by hand. But I wanted to try the stencils just for fun. I thought it'd be fun to try something new. And these are already perforated, so you don't have to cut anything out with scissors. All you do is just uh, let me see. Here get close enough to show you guys. All you do is just kind of like pull it to separate it and then it comes right off. So this was awesome. I mean six bucks for these books. If you're just now joining, whoops, if you're just now joining, Ghostface Stencil Book. That's where we got this. And uh, this is from Spirit Halloween for six bucks. I'll actually put that right here so you guys can see it in case anyone is wondering any time. Hello Smurf. Who else we got in here? Looks like everybody's been here, here for a minute. TV Man says also, I also live in Ohio. Awesome. All right. Just about done getting this stencil ready and then we'll go ahead and start tracing it on there. Then we'll cut into the pumpkin. And we will uh, unbox Leatherface after. Oh, look. <laughs> we will unbox Leatherface after we do the pumpkin carving, guys. Uh, we did a poll earlier in the stream to see if we should do a leather box setup. And uh, I'll probably do another poll towards the end of the stream, or towards the end of the pumpkin carving, um, just to kind of remind everyone about it and get some people uh, excited about it again so nobody forgets and leaves as soon as we finish carving the pumpkin. Hello, uh... Trixie's Dragons, hello. Oh, thank you. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for joining and watching. If you guys are coming from the uh, uh, short speed, let me know. Because I have not done a live stream on the short speed yet. Hi, Bella. Trixie's Dragons, I'm good. How you doing? We're carving a pumpkin. 
So I got it all cut out here. Now I gotta trace it on the pumpkin, which makes me nervous for some reason. <laughs> so we'll just do it like this. This is great for like, if you're uh, not good at doing stuff by hand and just winging it. You get these little stencil books at Spirit Halloween. Pretty easy to do. And this is like the perfect size pumpkin for this uh, stencil too. I've had some pretty big pumpkins, and like a bigger pumpkin would almost be too big for this. So this is like perfect. So after you pull out all the pieces of the stencil, you just uh, copy it on here the best you can. There we go. I just watched uh, Scream the other day. Scream was one of my favorites. Alright, doing pretty good. Bring your daughter on camera. Yeah, in a little bit I'll uh, I'll give I'll bring Kim, Kinsley on camera for a moment here. You got the what pumpkin? The great pumpkin? Did you get a pumpkin, Jacob? I was wondering if people would start getting pumpkins to carve with me during my live stream. I was hoping people would do that. And nobody had said that they were going to at the moment. There's the mouth. And then we can do the knife. This is so fun. Oh man, my, my hand messed it up a little bit. That's how it's looking so far. Let's get a look at that real quick. That is not bad. Check that out. That is not too bad. Turning out pretty good. <laughs> Perfect size pumpkin. I suppose I suppose I could have done it a little lower, but that's okay. It looks good. You carved one last weekend. What did you carve it? What what face did you put on it? I usually do just like a classic face on my pumpkins, um, but I'll, I always like to do these different ones every once in a while. So now we gotta do the hand. Something like right there. Like that. And then a knife. Something like that. Yeah, all right. That looks pretty good. I got all these tools too. I don't think these are on frame. I got all these tools that I bought uh, to do pumpkin carving. This thing rocks. Super Goop Scoop. That's what it's called. This is from Fun World. This thing rocks. It's, it's actually pretty strong. I used it to carve like four pumpkins already. Uh, the blades, um, Colossal Carver this one's called. And uh, it's pretty strong. It hasn't broke on me yet. Um, the other ones aren't named, but the Super Goop Scoop and the Colossal Carver, those work pretty good. Um, and these are from, uh, what did I say? It was from Fun World, and they work really good. So if you find those, they're like probably eight bucks at the store. They come with a pack of stencils, um, like regular pumpkin stencils. Uh, you did bats, all right. Bats are cool. Watch the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown on Apple Plus TV. Awesome. I watch that every year. I also watch uh, Disney's um, Sleepy Hollow, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, the one, the cartoon one, the old-fashioned one. I watch that one every year with my family, usually, uh, when we do a Halloween party. Tell your mom and dad I said hi, and uh, <laughs> your daughter kissed for me. Um, did bats. It was awesome. Do you have a TikTok channel? I do have a TikTok channel, yes. Um, I, I, I've been starting to upload on my TikTok more recently than, uh, than I had earlier in the season, and it's doing okay. I get, 
I've been getting some good views recently. But if you look me up on TikTok, it's uh, that other Nate guy on TikTok. Um, you should be able to find me pretty easily on there. My dad's on there too. I just started um, recently uploading on there pretty often though. Uh, next year, hopefully, I can really get on that and make it happen more. Cody! Cody, thank you so much for the $2 donation. You rock! Cody, that is awesome. That was your first super on the live stream. You rock. Thank you so much, Cody. I appreciate that. I appreciate your guys' donations. Uh, ho, ho! Hill said hello. <laughs> Callie. Hello, Callie. Hi, Arthur VR. We got 113 people watching. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Zargona said, how, how do you do live? Um, your channel has to have a certain amount of subscribers, I believe, in order to do live streams. I know. You know what? I think you can just verify it with a phone number, and then you can do live streams on YouTube. I believe that's how it works. Um, Aaron said, help. Is, is Ghostface running after you or something? Uh, you're 11 and love my videos. Thank you so much, Gerald. You are awesome. Thank you very much. Brittany said, bless your family. Thank you so much, Brittany. You guys rock. We're about to start cutting into the pumpkin here. Keegan, hello, Keegan. Uh, Ruby said he watched Haunted Mansion on Disney+. Plus. I have not watched Haunted Mansion yet. How was it? Was it good? I've heard good things and I've heard bad things. But I will watch it at some point. I also need to watch a ton of other scary movies. Guys, I got a whole stack of scary movies over here that I found at Goodwill. And I'm going to be doing scary movie reviews throughout the year um, on this channel. So keep an eye out for that. If you guys like the, ha the Halloween stuff and the scary stuff, um, I'll keep some stuff uploading all throughout the season or all throughout the year as much as I can. Uh, and a lot of them are going to be these Halloween or these uh, scary movie reviews because I got a ton of them from Goodwill. And I need to get a bunch more too because there's a whole wall in my office that I'll show you when we set up Leatherface in a minute here. Um, I'm going to fill the entire wall with scary movies. Uh, who else is in here? Um, I, I'm missing some comments here. So April, hello April, hello Tuno. Uh, who else? Steve Kip, Steve Carell, <laughs> hello. Uh, who else we got here? Yes, thank you so much, Cody. I really appreciate that donation. You guys are awesome. I appreciate all the donations. You guys are really uh, generous. Uh, you should eat the guts, the yellow pumpkin, maybe it tastes different. <laughs> I doubt it. I'm sure it's just as equally as disgusting as the orange pumpkins. That was gross, but it was fun. Um, who else? I said hi to April. I want to make sure I see all your guys' comments when you're saying hello. Eric said, uh, are you a Buckeyes fan? Do you have plans for the game? Uh, tomorrow. No, I, I don't watch football or anything. I'm not really into sports too much. I wish I was, but I've really never taken the time to get into it. Um, my local uh, my local high school team is like semi-famous because my uh, local high school is really into football. They, they have a huge rivalry, um, so I love to like go to the games and watch the uh, parade for that and stuff. The parade is actually tonight for that. Um, but I've just never been into sports too much, never took the time to do it. But I like to have parties, so, uh, football parties and stuff. You Thank you so much, Jaden, for the uh, subscription. What, honey? Tobias also gave him a piano. Who did? Tobias? Did I miss? Yeah, it was a ways up. Tobias, if you gave me a donation and I missed it, I apologize. Let me see here. I know I did say thank you to somebody else who gave, I think I saw it. It was in a different, it wasn't uh, dollars, it was pounds or something, yeah. Thank you, Tobias, for the pounds. I got plenty of pounds. Thank you. <laughs> All right, how many pumpkins do you have this Halloween? I think I carved, like, what, five pumpkins, five or six? Something like that. We're about to cut into this one, though. Five or six, this will be, like, the seventh or something. Uh, where did you get the pumpkin? We have a uh, uh, pumpkin patch. Uh, that we go to every year. I can't remember what it's called, but it's a nice pumpkin patch. We always go to the pumpkin patch and they have a hayride. Uh, we took the baby girl on the hayride for the first time. Uh, her first time on a hayride. That was really fun. Hello, Gage. Good to see you, Gage. Yeah, Gerald, we'll, uh, the baby will make a, a guest appearance here in a little bit. Keegan said, are you a teacher? No, I'm not a teacher. Um, Jasper. Hello, Jasper. Hello, Spring. You guys are awesome. All right, let's get cutting into this thing. We've been talking for a long time. Jamie, hello. Booper, hello. Booper Dooper's here. You guys are awesome. My daughter is a year old now. Crazy. Time is flying. Okay, so I'm going to draw a circle, even though I don't usually need one. 
And when you're cutting into a pumpkin to carve it, you usually, I say this every time I do a pumpkin carving live stream, just to give you guys some tips if you never put carved a pumpkin, which if you haven't, you must. You cut into it at an angle. You don't want to cut straight down because if you cut straight down and get this top off, then when you go to put the top back on, after you take your candle here and put it in there, it's just going to fall straight in. So you have to make sure to cut at an angle like this way um, so that after you cut around, there's a lip that the lid will sit on so it doesn't fall straight down. Hello, Mighty Rocky. You guys are great. I'm trying to make sure I say hello to everyone whenever I see your uh, comments. Let's get this going. All right. Got the first initial cut. I can't wait to smell the candle burning in here. When you burn a candle inside a pumpkin, there is a distinct smell of the burning pumpkin because it cooks the top of the pumpkin a little bit. This pumpkin smells kind of funny. I hope it's not rotted on the inside. If I open this thing and a bunch of bugs come out, I'm going to freak out. This pumpkin has been sitting on my porch for a little bit. I don't see any. I see a hole right here that bugs could be getting into and uh, like in and out of, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see once I get the lid off here. Gage said, I love your pumpkin. Yeah, it's a nice... Nice yellow pumpkin. My wife chose this one. She picked it out. I wasn't going to carve it because it looks so nice, but I didn't have time to go get a bigger pumpkin today before the live stream. All right. Yes, 121 people. Oh, yeah, 127. You're right. Wow, awesome. You guys are great. 127 people. Thank you guys so much for joining. If you're just now joining, uh, we got this Leatherface. Or Leatherface. I keep calling it Leatherface because I'm so excited to get Leatherface set up tonight. Uh, we got this Ghostface uh, stencil book from Spirit Halloween for six bucks, and we did a vote on uh, what stencil to choose, and this is the one that won, if you guys can see this, whoops, the lid just came off a little bit, that was the one that won the uh, poll, so we're going to be carving that, and uh, we already got it um, figured out, you just pop out little pieces of the paper, stick it on there, trace the holes, and there you go. You got your stencil. I never usually use stencils. I always do everything by hand, but I wanted to try something new tonight. And this marker, that this these markers uh, that came with this whole carving kit that I got a few months ago, um, they come off super easy. Look at this. It just rubs right off. So that's a good thing about these uh, about these markers because if you use like a permanent marker, then when you try to you know, whenever you cut everything out, you're going to have all these black lines all over everything. The only thing about these markers is if I wipe this with my finger by accident, or if I was just cutting this and I rubbed it against my shirt, I would lose all that. It would just rub right away. So you got to be careful to do that. You soaked your keyboard. Oh no. You guys are crazy. All right. I'm going to wipe off the top of the pumpkin here and I'll show you the inside. I already got, I already took a peek when the lid came off a second ago. All right, looks good. Now look at this, look at how I got the lid uh, at like a total angle. It looks like a cone, that is hilarious. That's how you want it though, so that it stays uh, whenever you put it on. But look at the, at the inside of this pumpkin. The yellow ones look so weird. It doesn't smell funky anymore. I don't know why it smelled funky when I first cut into it. But now I have to, look at that tiny little hole right there. Now I've got to cut around this and widen that. Try to do it without uh, wiping off my stencil here. Oh my gosh, it must have some dense uh, guts in here. Guys, if you're just now joining, we got 130 people in here. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I have a Leatherface uh, animatronic up in my office. And we are going to set him up after we're done carving the pumpkin. So we're going to carve this pumpkin, then we're going to go up in the office, and we're going to set up Leatherface. I'm super excited for that. <laughs> I also bought the drop-down scarecrow, but I'll set him up another day. So we got a Spirit Halloween bag here. 
from when I bought this uh, stencil book earlier today. And we're going to put the guts inside there. Looks like a mushroom. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get this super goop scoop. This thing rocks. It has all kinds of different teeth on it, and it makes it super easy to get in here and scoop all the uh, guts out. In fact, yeah, we'll just keep it right there. We'll keep it right there. I'm trying to make sure I don't uh, accidentally wipe off my stencil there. So I'll just go in here and start pulling everything down. It's got all these nice teeth on the edges that makes it really easy to scrape away and get all the guts detached from the walls. Works super well. Probably the best uh, pumpkin carving scoop I've ever had. You can just hear it scraping away at it. I'm gonna be real careful not to scrape off or uh, accidentally wipe off my stencil there. This is kind of a smaller pumpkin. I usually get giant ones, but I didn't have time to go look for a big one today, so I just used whatever was on my porch. Thank you, Maria! Oh, Jerome said you yeah, used the exact same kit to carve mine. Awesome. Then you know what I'm talking about. This super goop scoop is super for scoop and goop. All right, we're getting all the guts detached, and then we'll do the gut dump. And then I'll continue to clean it up. All right. Everything is pretty well detached in there. We'll do the, the uh, gut dump here. I got my Spirit Halloween bag to put the guts in. Gut dump. Here we go, ready? Oh, what? Where'd the guts go? in there. What in the world? He doesn't want to lose his guts. Let me do a little more scraping. Scraping and scooping. All right. That may be good. You know what it could be? Is this big old piece right here. Hold on. There's a piece in there that I have to take out because it was just, that's the piece that we carved out. This one. Oh my gosh, look at that guys. Everything was connected to that one piece and it was just uh, clogging up the entire pumpkin. Look at all those guts. That's awesome. I still want to carve one like uh, to look like, um, what's his name? Gordo from Spirit Halloween. We'll do that another day. I'll have to get another pumpkin. We're getting close to Halloween, so I gotta do it soon. All right. Still a bunch of seeds in there. We'll dump those in there. Seed dump. There we go. <laughs> All right, then we can scrape away at everything else. 130 people watching. You guys are off. Uh, K. John, I don't know if I'm saying your name uh, correctly, McPherson. Hello. Thank you so much for being here. You rock. Oakley Dopley. Hello. You have a ghost face mask in your room. Awesome. Uh, who else we got in here? Pumpkin Autopsy, Tobias said. <laughs> um, Kai said, I love your videos, Nate. Thank you so much, Kai. Um... McBain was hit with another ad. I'm sorry about that, McBain. <laughs> um, you can hear my daughter in the background. She's saying, go! She's learning how to speak. So she's every time she learns a new word, she repeats it over and over. She's so cute. All right, let me get a uh, napkin here, whatever you call that, so I can wipe off these guts from the edge. I don't want them to accidentally wash off my uh, stencil before I get to carve it. Okay. What are you going to be for Halloween? I'm going to be Leatherface. I've got two Leatherface masks, and I have a Leatherface uh, uh, apron. And 
What's cool is I actually got them from the Spirit Halloween website uh, earlier in the season. They were, uh, it was like 40 bucks on the website for the apron and the mask. But the mask alone was like 70 bucks. So I got a good deal. I think they made a mistake when they were pricing it. And I made a video to tell everybody about it. And by the time everybody got on there and tried to buy it, a few people told me they went on there and tried to buy it. And they had already fixed the price. Um, so I got lucky with that. All right. Hello, KC. Account, hello. Thank you for the green hearts. Rodelio, hello. Filipino. <laughs> uh, let's see, who else we got in here? Hi, sorry I was offline. Hello, Bebot. Good to see ya. You guys are great. Thank you so much for being here. Getting this pumpkin carved up. Getting the seeds out. We're almost ready to start carving out this whole stencil here. Just got some straggle seeds in here that I gotta try and scoop up. <laughs> Gravejacker, hello Gravejacker. Never had a shout out before, so thank you. You're welcome, account. You're a girl and your brother's account. Okay. <laughs> I just call everybody by the name that, that shows up. All right, we got enough of these seeds out. I think it's okay now that we can start uh, carving out this stencil. What do you guys think? Should I turn the camera around to show you guys the uh, the front of the pumpkin while I'm carving it? That might work best. That might work best. So let me bring the camera around here and try to get you guys a good view. That way you guys can see it a little bit better. Back from the dead, Christina said. All right, let's see here. Let's see if I can get you guys a good view while I carve the stencil out. Something like this might be good. All right. There we go. There's our, our uh, ghost face stencil, and this knife might be big enough. However, we have a few different sizes here. Here's a big one. All right. There's the, a better look at the Super Goop Scoop. That thing is great. This works super well. All those teeth on there. All right, 120 people watching. Thank you guys so much. We're about to... Uh, carve out our stencil here. The lid we did perfect with. Look at that. That's the kind of lid you want so it doesn't fall down in when you put it on. Look at that. That is perfect. How cool. I love that. And lately, honestly, this year, the pumpkins that I've carved, they've all come out like that with a super thick uh, shell. And then I have to like cut out a big section of it in order to make it look like this so I can get in there and get to the inside of the pumpkin. But it definitely smells like a pumpkin in here. Love that pumpkin smell. We're about to get carving on that. Do you want her for a second? No, I just uh, turned the camera around, so. In a minute. You do? Mm -hmm. Take it with you. Um, after I carve the, oh yeah, that's fine. After I carve this, guys, I have a little candle here. A nice little black tea light candle. And we'll put that in there and get it lit. Um, got my lighter ready. We'll get it lit and we'll be able to see it in the dark because it is dark here. It is already nighttime. So whenever you're carving this, uh, you have to start with the... Uh, I mean, I suppose you could start anywhere with the big ones or the small ones. Like big ones meaning like the mouth, the hand and stuff. Uh, but you got to be careful because if you pull them out right away then you, uh, like, you're affecting the integrity of the entire pumpkin. So if I just start, if I carve this out and pull it out and carve this and this and this and pull it out, then when I go to do this small part, it's going to break. So you got to leave it in there. That's a good tip. Um, you got to leave the, uh, leave the pieces in until you're done carving. Then you pull everything out. Oh, 
I'll look at your guys' comments in just a second here. Keep an eye on them the best I can while I'm doing this. Sometimes I just wing stuff. Like if I mess up a little bit, I start winging it. All right. That's good. Now I'm going to leave that in there so it doesn't affect the integrity of the pumpkin. 117 people watching. Thank you guys so much. If you guys are coming from uh, the shorts feed, put a comment and let me know because uh, I really would like to know if a bunch of people are coming from the shorts feed or if you guys are already uh, subscribers and whatnot. So let me know. I'd love to know that. Let's go ahead and do this knife next. There we go. Looking good. So far, so good. Hello, Liv Morgan. You can hear my baby laugh in the background. That's hilarious. Hi, Venti. What are you guys commenting numbers for? Oh, your times? What time it is where you are? It's uh, 8.30 where I am right now. Gutsy Gwen. Oh, my gosh. That is hilarious. She does sound like Gutsy Gwen. <laughs> that is too funny. All right, let's do his head here. Oops, I went off track there a little bit. See how it's already getting weak? I gotta, without cutting my finger off, I have to kind of support it from behind. Always got to be careful not to cut your finger off. That would be a pretty pretty sad way to lose a finger from carving a pumpkin. Okay, so it's getting weak. I got to be careful. <laughs> I don't want to pull the whole thing apart. Got 114 people watching, it looks like. Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in. If you guys are coming from the uh, shorts feed, let me know. I'd love to know that. Maria said, Nate is the best. Thank you so much, Maria. You guys are awesome. Everybody's commenting what time it is, where they're at. April 532 in the PM? What? Where are you at? You must be in, uh, what, California? Or maybe I'm wrong about that. Maybe that's the other direction. I think that's right. Uh, okay. We did the uh, hand, the knife, and the head. We've got the mouth and the whole face to go. It's getting kind of weak, so i got to be real careful. See that? It's wobbling a lot, so that's what you got to be careful of. This It seems like the yellow pumpkin is weaker than uh, than the other pumpkins I've dealt with. I'll turn it around and use the finer... Uh, let's try to make it show you, but the finer teeth right there, maybe that'll help. Just going to go slow and steady. Try not to cut my finger. Okay, I'll, I'll pull that out uh, after I get the whole thing carved up. Thank you so much, Kyle. Kyle says, huge fan. Keep up the great work. Thank you so much. Ella said, thanks for the tip about leaving the pieces in the pumpkin until you're done carving. I am subscribed to you and your dad. Thank you so much, Ella. Hello, Peter. Happy edits. Hello, what is your favorite spirit Halloween year? Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. I don't even know. I'd have to look at the uh, pictures and stuff because I don't even remember which years were what. But uh, they usually do great every year. I don't know which one would be my favorite. I do love that they do a different theme every year. I think that's uh, really cool on their part to keep it nice and fresh. That eye almost popped out. Let's do the nose here. I have a lot of good ideas for uh, themes for my for trick or treating, like uh, trick or treating, um, or what you guys would call a haunt setup. I have a lot of good ideas for that. But this is my second year having my own house, so uh, this year we're just doing the inflatable haunted house. But maybe another year I'll be able to do some different themes. 
and start doing some really fun and exciting stuff for you guys to see. All right, we're almost done. Doing pretty good. We got most of the stuff cut out here. Uh, we still got to do, hello, Alyssa. We still got to do the mouth and that piece of the face. Hello, Mason. Honey, they can see you on the camera. <laughs> Crawling around with the baby. Um, Ghostbusters. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. I didn't notice that until just now. <laughs> Sorry, hun. Somebody commented and said that they can see the baby in you, so. Yeah. Mommy's playing with the baby. Uh, how many animatronics do you have? I have one, two, three, four. I have, I have ghost, or I mean, I have Leatherface. I have Drop Down Scarecrow, I have the Exterminator, and I have the Ice Scream Clown, which I got for 30 bucks at Mark's. Um, they had it at Mark's for 30 bucks, which is pretty cool. Rob H., hello, and Dad. Rob H. and Dad. How many inflatables? I have zero inflatables. Hello, Lisa. Um, I have not bought any inflatables yet. Hello, Betsy. How'd you get a yellow pumpkin? My, uh, the pumpkin patch that I go to, they always have some yellow pumpkins. You can usually find them at pumpkin patches, and, I mean, you could probably find them pretty much anywhere now. But the pumpkin patch I, I go to, they had a ton of them. If you want to know which pumpkin patch it is, I can figure it out, but, uh, it's in Ohio. Stony Creek, that's what it is. Stony Creek in Ohio. Okay, guys, that mouth is already coming out. It was kind of hard to keep this from breaking because uh, it is so weak. Let's pull out the mouth. Do you want my inflatable? No, that's okay. You don't, you don't have to send me anything. Um, there's the mouthpiece right there. <laughs> I appreciate that, though. Thank you for the uh, kind thoughts. Um, I will get a uh, collection at some point, probably. This year I did get two animatronics. That's probably all I'm gonna buy this year unless they go on sale and I really want one. But uh, no, I never found two scoops. Never found him. Never found him. But I am going to a couple more Spirit Halloweens before the season is over, so uh, you never know. All right, there's the headpiece. 114 people watching, thank you guys so much. Pulling all the pieces of ghost face out right now, and then we'll clean them up and put the candle in there. Look at that. That is looking good. These stencils are pretty cool. It was pretty easy to, to do that. I'm going to have to push that, that one through. When you get these small pieces, just use like a pencil or something to push it through like that because you don't want to accidentally break it. Break the pumpkin by pushing it with your finger. And make sure, see how my hand is in there? but I was just pushing in there with a knife. Make sure your hand is not like straight down like that. You know, hold on to it with a, with a fist like this so your fingers aren't reaching down where you're poking through. You don't want to hurt yourself and stab yourself with the knife. Be careful, guys. Safety first. And there's the knife. All right. Looking pretty good. All right. Let's get this thing all... Uh, cleaned up. I'll use a wet washcloth and clean it up and then we'll kind of go through and try to get all these uh, stringy pieces of guts off the best we can. But honestly, I don't mind the stringy guts because uh, they, they kind of go along with the whole pumpkin thing. I mean, when you carve a pumpkin, you're going to have stringy guts. Uh, as long as they're not like blocking the light from coming through, then it's okay. You can always use a pencil or something, go through and just like go like this. And just kind of push them around out of the way. Like right there in the eye there's some. I can just go like that. And I pushed it out of the way. So uh, that's always an option. That seems to work pretty well actually. They're, they're sticky. So if you push them around like that. Look at that. It's already getting cleaned up. But they also help to make it look a little more creepy. Because it's a pumpkin. So alright. Um, I might have to doctor up this little corner here. In fact let's take the knife. And just go in there. I'm not even putting any pressure. I'm just letting the knife do all the work. Because this is super weak right now. Since everything is cut off. 
There we go. Something like that. Okay. Let me rinse my hand off. We'll get this all cleaned up. And then uh, and then we'll put a candle in him. Let me prop it up a little bit so you guys can see him a little better. And we'll put the scoop under it. There we go. That looks pretty good, as long as he doesn't fall fall off the table. <laughs> my first pumpkin, uh, or maybe not my first pumpkin of the season, but one of my first pumpkins, I f it fell out of the truck and almost broke. Or it did break. It had a big split down the uh, bottom of it. Hello, KJ. Call of Duty. Hello, Call of Duty. Um, sh uh, Shakita, am I saying that correctly? Thank you so much. Shakita said, I love your videos. Thank you so much for that. Peter said, and knowing is half the battle. You're hilarious, Peter. Um, have you visited any of the Spirit Halloweens in Michigan? Kyle said, yes, I have. Um, I visited a few in Michigan. Every year I pretty much will because Michigan's right above me. And uh, I lived in Michigan for a while, so I know the area. Um, have you gone to Dollar Tree? has $5 inflatables. I have seen that, yes. I, I think I did a video on it earlier in the season, too. Um, feel better soon, Casey. That's too bad, getting sick around this time of year. But that's what happens. This is the sick time of year. Thank you, Lisa. What kind of knife? These came out of a uh, carving kit that I bought for like, uh, probably eight bucks. This one's called a Colossal Carver from Fun World. And this came with, like this, this came with one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four knives right here, different sizes, and uh, the scoop, which is right here, and a little hand scraper that's underneath the pumpkin as well right now, holding it up for you guys. And it came with two of these markers, and uh, the markers are cool because they're kind of like dry erase. They uh, come off really easily. I'm gonna get a wet washcloth and uh, wipe off the front of the pumpkin. Michelle said, we are literally watching it all. Can you say hi? To Swaggy EJ. Hello, Swaggy EJ. <laughs> you guys rock. Hi, Jay. Uh, BJ Miller said, I like your pumpkin. Thank you, BJ Miller. Oh, he did get all of them. Awesome. My dad has a good inflatable collection. Um, all right, I'm going to uh, rinse off the front of this pumpkin so we can get them all nice and clean before we put a uh, candle inside of him. I got a candle right here ready to go. So this marker just wipes off super easy. If I had a washcloth, it'd be a little easier because this paper towel wants to rip as I wipe, but see how that marker just comes right off. That's why I like these markers so much. De uh, next year I will definitely, next year I'll definitely get some more uh, of those markers. I'm gonna have to plug my phone in whenever we go up to do Leatherface because my phone's on 20%. All right, looking pretty good. Just getting this cleaned up a little bit. And then we'll get a candle in him. <laughs> Turned out pretty good. Looking at your comments here. Can you do Leatherface? Yes, we're gonna do Leatherface uh, in just a moment here. Let me get, uh, let me get this phone set up to where you guys are gonna be able to see the pumpkin lit up with a candle. And then I'll uh, talk to you guys for a minute while the phone charges. Um, let's see here. Let me set you guys up over here. We'll charge the phone a little bit before we do the leather face. 117 people watching. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, she can make a little guest appearance here if you want to. Just hold her for a second. Let me get the candle in there. Don't want to have that block in the view. What do you guys think of the pumpkin? Thank you, Desiree. I appreciate that. I'm going to turn off the lights and we'll put the pumpkin in there. I got to plug my phone in. Doing the live streams really drains my battery. I got I do have a charging stick that I can plug into uh, the phone, but I don't know where it is. I might know where it is. All right, let's get a candle in this thing. This looks pretty good. So compared to the stencil, 
You know, let's get this bag out of the way here. It's got the guts in it. Big old spirit Halloween bag full of guts. Compared to the stencil, looks pretty good. It's a match. <laughs> awesome. All right. So I got a little candle here. This lid was perfect. That came out great. Let's go ahead and get this lit in here. Try not to burn myself. So one issue I always have is whenever I, I try to light a candle and put it in there, you're going to be holding it like this, and it's going to burn your hand when you try to put it in. So put this candle in first and stick it wherever, and then you can tilt the pumpkin backwards and look through your holes here to lay it like that. That way you don't burn yourself whenever you uh, put your candle in there. And then we'll put the lid on. There we go. Alright, let me uh, get that closer to you guys. Put some decor under it. And I'll turn off the lights. Alright. Look at that. Sweet. Let me turn it a little bit. Does that look good? Yeah. That looks pretty good. <laughs> Alright. What do you guys think? Pretty sweet. I definitely like those stencils. Six bucks. And it came with a pack of like five stencils. And honestly, you can reuse the stencils because it was just paper that I poked the holes out of. And then uh, you can put it back in the book and use that stencil again as long as you didn't rip it or anything. Awesome. I am happy with that. Super happy with that. <laughs> All right, go ahead and hit the lights, hon. Yeah, that turned out great. <laughs> Pumpkin Nate Heist. That's hilarious. All right, got the camera back up there. Make a guest appearance. Hello, girl. Hello. Hello. Little baby Kinsley, she's getting big. You still see me from there? Okay. I, don't, I can't really see it on my... My screen over here, so right there. Okay, thank you. All right, she's getting big. We did a uh, a Christmas tree live um, earlier in the season. She always tries to take my hat. We did a live uh, where I was decorating my Christmas tree um, last year, and I showed you guys Kinsley on the live stream for the Christmas tree decorating, and she was so small. I rewatched it uh, a couple weeks ago, and I couldn't believe how small she was. Hello, that's my hat. Yes, that's Daddy's hat. You are so funny. She's a good girl. He's a good girl. Hello, Joe. I'm doing great. You guys are awesome. Got 92, I think 92, or 112. I can't tell. It, it tells me different numbers on here. What's it look like on there? How many people does it say? 94. Oh, 94, okay. Stand up. Stand up. Daddy's hat. Ooh, she's getting better at standing up. She's learning. Pumpkin. What's this? What's that? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. She hasn't learned that word yet. <laughs> Pumpkin. Usually she calls it a ball. She sees it and she says ball. Pumpkin. Pumpkin lid. You're funny. Funny girl. All right, go to mommy. Mwah. Go to mommy. There you go. All right. I think I'll move the camera, or I'll probably keep it there because I got to charge. I got to keep it uh, charging a little bit, but I'll turn it a little bit. Um, I feel a little bit more comfortable right there, and I'll move the pumpkin so you guys can see it still. I think that turned out great. I think that stencil was uh, worth the money. Do you have any pets? No, I don't have any pets. Uh, a kid is good enough for me. <laughs> we probably will get dogs eventually, but uh, I we just got this house in uh, November of last year, so you know we didn't want to get any pets or anything right away because the pets you got to potty train them. They might 
ruin your carpet and stuff. Um, the last time I owned a dog, I only owned it for like three days because it destroyed everything. Uh, and I wasn't allowed to have him in my apartment. He destroyed everything. He betrayed me. <laughs> so, we got over 100 people still watching, guys. Thank you so much. Uh, let me do another poll here. Hello, Cassie. Let me do another uh, poll here. And we'll see if everybody's still thinking about Leatherface. Should I set up Leatherface on live tonight? All right, I started the poll. So if you guys are still thinking about seeing Leatherface, I don't want to pull that guy off camera. Right there, something like that. Hello, Gerald. We got him all carved up. He looks good. If you ever get a dog, make a short with him or her. Yeah, I could. I don't know when I'll get a dog. Um, we've thought about it. Maybe at some point we will. Luffy. Hello, Luffy. Uh, Vini said, I'm from Brazil. Happy Halloween. Hello and happy Halloween. Thank you so much for watching from Brazil. That's awesome. A lot of people from different places on here. That's awesome. Elena. Hello, Elena. Uh, Rory McKinney says, can you give me a shout out? Shout out, Rory McKinney. If you had a pet, what pet would it be? I have a doggo named Nico. Uh, you can see in my um, PFP and two bunnies named Ghost. Ghost and Pumpkin. That's awesome. <laughs> um, if I had a, uh, a pet, it would probably be a dog. I do like dogs. Um, but throughout my life, I've had hamsters, cats, all kinds of stuff, uh, dogs, all kinds of dogs, but, uh, I'd probably get a dog. I'd probably get something I could take hunting with me, a good tracking dog. Uh, I think my, my, uh, wife wants a poodle. Is that right, honey? You want a poodle? Maybe. Maybe. She maybe wants a poodle. So we'll think about that. 97% of you are saying, yes, you want to see Leatherface set up tonight. All right. We just may have to do that. We will do it for sure, yes. <laughs> I just did that poll to make sure you guys were still excited about it. Uh, Juice said, can I get a shout out please? Shout out to Juice. You guys are awesome. April says, I'm from the USA. USA. Gerald said, did I already say that? Gerald? No, Gerald Dockery said, can you give me a shout out? Shout out Gerald Dockery. <laughs> Nate is number one. Thank you, Maria. Thank you for that. You guys are awesome. Uh, Massachusetts Brittany said, do you like reptiles, Nate? Uh, I used to like turtles. My wife uh, also liked turtles a lot. My wife's more into reptiles than I am. They're a lot of work. Um, Rory, Rory McKinney, shout out to you. I think I already did you, but I can't remember. Shout out to Rory McKinney. Um, how to entertain yourself when you have COVID? That is too bad. I had COVID for a little bit, uh, Last year, I think it was, and that's, that was terrible. Um, well, you could use a coloring book. Get a, get a uh, Halloween coloring book. Get some pumpkins to carve, unless you're too weak to do that. I know that your muscles are probably hurting. Um, Keegan, I am 25 years old. I'll be 26 in November. Um, please light up the jack-o'-lantern. Yes. He is, uh, he's got a candle in him right now. Let's check on that. Yeah, it's looking good. The inside of the pumpkin is gleaming. I'll give you guys a, a close-up of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. I'm reading your guys' comments for a minute here. We will go up and set up Leatherface in a little bit here. I'm uh, letting the phone charge for a moment before we do that. I ran out the uh, the charge doing the live stream because like, I forgot to plug it in. Um, shout out to Cassie McCarley. She said, please and bye. <laughs> um, shout out to KC. Your principal had a lizard. That's funny. No problem, Rory. Hello, Joanne Kors. Shout out to To Know. Did you mean to put You Know on that? Hashtag You Know. You Know? Uh, bet the pumpkin smells good. Oh, definitely. It smells so good. I love when the candle is heating up the pumpkin. You can smell it cooking in there. I love it. Thank you, Joe, for liking my Halloween videos. Um, any tips on how to entertain yourself when you have a broken ankle? Uh... Oh, coloring books and pumpkins. <laughs> That's my answer for everything. Yeah. Coloring books and pumpkins. Uh, Fortnite or Spirit Halloween, which one's better? Mm -hmm. 
uh, Spirit Halloween. I used to play Fortnite a little bit, but I was never a huge fan of it. Uh, Gerald is how you say it. Gerald. All right. Um, hello, uh, Aaron. Aaron said, rah! <laughs> you guys are great. 99 people watching right now. All right, we got, uh, let's see, 88 people, or 88% of the people said yes. 12% said no out of 61 votes so far. Uh, Nate, do you like punk, uh, hockey or any sports? No, I'm not really into sports too much. I do like them, I just don't really watch them and, and stay up to date with everything going on. Um, yeah, Tobias, I'm a pretty quick pumpkin carver. And that uh, um, stencil worked pretty good. Brittany Coyne, I think you say it like that, Coyne. Uh, shout out to Brittany Coyne. Yeah, I'm ready for Halloween, I'm excited. I can't wait, I'm gonna blow up my inflatable haunted house and pass out candy in front of it and uh, let the trick-or-treaters go through the haunted house. And I might put some animatronics inside to scare them, too. I'd like to put a camera in there and live stream them getting scared. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. Okay, Mason. I'll remember that. To know is Mason. If I forget, I'll ask again. But I should remember that. Yes, I love Leatherface, too. We have a Leatherface animatronic upstairs right now. We're going to set him up in just a moment. Hello, J.D. Jones. Welcome back. Uh... Okay, Unbluable, thank you so much for watching for a little bit. Shout out to April Flores. I hope that's how, I hope I'm saying that correctly. I'm bad at pronouncing uh, names. Are you ready for Christmas? I honestly, yes. I have been feeling in the Christmas mood lately. I love both Halloween and Christmas, probably equally. Maybe Halloween a little bit more, but uh, I love the snow. I love Christmas, so I'm ready, yeah. But I also am ready for Halloween still. <laughs> and and uh, Thanksgiving, too. I love Thanksgiving. Uh, lots of good food. Nate voice singing, let's be happy. Deck the halls with boughs of pumpkins. <laughs> Hello, Mr. P's ice cream. All right. Miguel, hello. How you doing? We just carved this pumpkin, and we're going to set up a leather face animatronic pretty soon here. Uh, do you get jump scared by Leatherface upstairs? Uh, no, he's not like a jump scare Leatherface. He is scary though, but I do have a drop down scarecrow and he will scare you pretty good because he uh, drops down and uh, you don't expect it, honestly. I'll do a video on him later uh, another time. Uh, and we will do, wait, when did it snow for you? I don't remember when it snowed last in the UK. Um, it snowed... A little bit last year it didn't snow as much as I wanted it to uh, but when my brother came into town my brother lives in Texas and he traveled up here uh, to stay with us for Christmas and I was happy because it snowed during that time so that was good and we went sledding a couple times during then so that was fun um, thank you Elena for watching my videos I appreciate that uh, ever played Futurama Bender kills Planet Express no but I've watched Futurama a lot it's a funny one hello Elliot's the Elliot's Hello. All right, guys, I think we're about ready to go set up Leatherface. Let me check the charge on the phone. I'll turn off the light again and show you guys the uh, pumpkin all lit up. The candle is in there right now. Looks like we got, we got 39%, that's pretty good. So let me turn off the light and give you guys a good look at the uh, pumpkin again. All lit up with the candle. That looks great. I like how the lid is lit up too. Look at that. That is funny. <laughs> Look, the lid is lit up from the pumpkin. That is hilarious. From the candle, I mean. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes people will carve, they'll do like, a, um, they'll like shave the front of the pumpkin, like shave a face into it. And then the light will light it up just like this, where you can see the light shining through the pumpkin. I'd love to learn how to do that, because it always looks really good. But this looks good, too. I am happy with that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Nice stencils. we got plenty of stencils, so we can do some more another day. But uh, I think it's about time we set up Leatherface. What do you guys think? Let me get the light back on here. Take a drink of Pepsi. Coca-Cola, I mean. <laughs> How many pumpkins do you have? Right now, I just have this one. I threw the other ones away uh, when they got, when they started to uh, fall apart. But uh, 
I've carved like maybe, oh, I think maybe I've carved five or six pumpkins this year so far. All right. I think I'll leave the candle in here burning. Let it make my house smell like cooking pumpkin. All right, guys. Let's get to setting up Leatherface. I will uh, carry you guys upstairs with me here. Let me turn the camera around. My office is an absolute mess right now because I have nothing set up. I just have it all kind of or unorganized, but uh, uh, I already got it opened up when I had to put it in the truck, so it should be okay. Uh, she should be okay. All right. We'll go take a look at my office, guys. I painted this office um, with blood stains. It is dark in here. Let me get this light on. I haven't had time to mess with it lately, so it is just a mess right now. I've got stuff all over my desk. There's the... Uh, let me turn the camera around. That's the uh, custom uh, gift bag that I got from Party City. Got my name on it. There's the ice cream clown right next to a big old blood splay on the wall, a blood splatter on the wall. Northern New Jersey, you need scare actors. Hmm. Oh, wow. That's a lot of good donations. Um, I don't know anyone that lives in New Jersey, but, uh, I'm sure if you make a post on maybe like the Facebook pages, like Facebook buy, sell, trade, um, that's probably your best bet and you'll probably get some people by doing that. I gotta be able to plug the phone in to keep this going while we set him up. So, hmm. Uh, wish I had an extension cord somewhere. However, I don't know if I do. I might. Let me see what I got here. Got a whole box full of electronics here. Anybody else just have a whole box full of electronics? Look at this. From over the years of collecting stuff, from uh, every electronic I've ever bought. I just got a whole box full of stuff. All right. I've been meaning to do a live stream setting up Leatherface. Um, I've wanted to for a long time. Well, I've only had him for a few days, but uh, I've been wanting to set him up for a while. And I was trying to think, like, I want to do a regular video of him, but I also wanted to do a live stream. Uh, so now I think is the perfect time. I did find an extension cord, by the way. So I'll get uh, the phone plugged in. That way, uh, you guys can enjoy the live stream and have no issues. I've done live streams before where everything froze uh, because my battery. Jack and Emma, be careful uh, spamming. Somebody will go on there and hit you with a uh, block. <laughs> I've got some uh, mods on here. All right, just getting you guys plugged in real quick. And then I'll read your guys' comments, too. I'll try to read your guys' comments as often as I can while I'm setting up Leatherface. I'm trying to figure out where my plug is here. Oh, there it is. Right in front of me. This Leatherface uh, is from Halloween City. I bought him just the other day. I got him for... I think he's like $320 or something, $325. So he's pretty pricey, but I think he's worth it. I don't remember what uh, the price is for Leatherface at Spirit Halloween. I think it may be uh, similar, pretty similar. All right, so... I might turn the camera around so I can read your guys' comments while we're doing this. So give me just a minute. I'm going to light here. See if we can make this 
lighting a little better. I gotta figure out the lighting in this office. I'm still messing with the office. I haven't done anything to it yet. All right. Turn you guys around. Give you guys a nice view here. Make sure you guys can see everything. Kind of hard to... I don't think I'll be able to see your guys' comments too easily. Sort of. Do you like pugs? I suppose so. I suppose so. I have no problem with pugs. I like bulldogs more, though. Okay. Something like that. I'm trying to get this light out of the way, but doing its job. That might work right there. Okay. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't taken the time to set up this office yet. And the lighting is terrible. There's one light up here above me. And I just added a light right here in front of me, which still looks terrible, but it's not too bad. Hello, Ghost Galaxy. Uh, Nate, do you use Instagram? No, I don't use Instagram. Um, people have been telling me to do it, to make an Instagram, but I just haven't taken the time to uh, figure it out yet. If you haven't noticed... I've got a custom rug down here. Custom uh, other Nate guy rug. That's pretty cool. I had somebody make me that. I gotta make a video to uh, shout out the girl who made that for me. Just been super busy with all the uh, Halloween stuff lately. Hopefully that'll be tall enough to show you guys everything so you can see it. All right. Okay, yeah, let me show you guys this rug. Check that out. Isn't that awesome? I know it might be backwards for you guys, but it says that other Nate guy, it's my logo, or my temporary logo for this year. She did a great job with this. Super happy with it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a uh, video to shout her out pretty soon here and thank her for that. Hello, Ghost Galaxy, you're a YouTuber, awesome. Me too. All right. So we got Leatherface, and uh, I might have to grab a fan because I'm hot in here with this light on. So Leatherface, I bought him at Halloween City just recently, uh, and if you watch my live stream, I couldn't fit him in the car. I didn't take my truck because my truck has a nail in the tire, and uh, I didn't want to risk the tire going flat while I was driving. So uh, I took my wife's little blue Kia, and I couldn't fit him in the car, so I had to take him out of the box and put pieces of him all throughout the car to make him fit. And I eventually got it to fit in there, but I damaged the box as I was doing that. There's like dings and scratches in the box, but that's okay. It doesn't affect uh, how he's set up or anything. So I'm going to grab a fan real quick to keep the air in here, and uh, we'll set up Leatherface. Give me about 10 seconds to grab this real quick. What do you guys think of the uh, paint job? with these blood splatters. I did a YouTube short and a TikTok video uh, showing you know, myself throwing the uh, red paint on the walls. I think it looks awesome. I still have a lot of work to do in here though. A ton of stuff to do. Like I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna put this whole wall right here, I'm going to fill with movies. So there's going to be scary movies lined all on that wall. It's going to be great. And then I'm going to have a uh, DVD player. I'm going to have a DVD player. Uh, see, behind you guys is my desk. And there's a corner right up in the wall there where I'm going to put... Uh, a TV and a DVD player, so anytime I want to, I can come over and pick up a scary movie off the wall here uh, and put it in the uh, DVD player and watch a movie while I'm editing videos or something. And right out the window here, there's a window right over here, um, I got a great view of a park that is uh, right across the street from my neighborhood, and they have some great fall foliage to look at. So I'm going to open up Mr. Leatherface now. I've already opened him because I had to take him apart to... Uh, fit him in, in the car. So I've already seen it, but might be new to you guys. So 
right here on this uh, lid is a bag with the directions. And it shouldn't be too difficult. We'll go ahead and open up this bag of directions and see what it looks like here. Leatherface's hair is all stuck in the uh, tape on this. Try to do this without destroying the bag. Which might not be possible. They really taped this thing up. Yep, it already ripped it. Huh. Jeez, they really taped this thing up. Well, that's good enough. Okay. Here's the directions right here. All right. Shouldn't be too hard, but uh, sometimes there's a lot of steps for the directions here. This is just for the snap lock tool, which is this guy right here, which you use to uh, take them apart. And this must be the... Uh, Adapter? Yes, that's the adapter. We'll definitely need that in a few minutes. All right, don't want to lose these, so I'll set them off to the side. Here's my chainsaw. I do have uh, a chainsaw here. From Spear Halloween. cool got that guy and I got uh, this leather face mask right here I want the pretty woman leather face mask I'll probably get that eventually but uh, that's a good one I do have another one um, but he's in the other room and it's uh, this one the uh, 2022 I think it was uh, Leatherface, and it came with an apron. This is the one I got off the Spear Halloween website for, uh, I think it was like 40 bucks or something. I got a really good deal on it because I think they messed up when they were doing the uh, pricing. All right, so let's go ahead and pull this stuff out here. Uh, first thing we'll pull out is this big box here. No idea what's in there. I think it's just maybe all the uh, tubing for his legs or something. And right here is Leatherface's butt, which is hilarious. They have a whole big butt piece for Leatherface. <laughs> All right, there's that. I'll turn this around so you guys can see when I pull him out, his face is right there ready for you. There he is. Woohoo! <laughs> Mr. Leatherface. I can't wait to get him set up. I really wanted to have a animatronic in the corner of my office here. Um, and I was going to do two scoops, but I couldn't find him, so I got Leatherface instead. I was equally as excited for Leatherface as I was for two scoops. So let me look at the directions here and see just how difficult this is going to be. It shouldn't be too bad. Let's see here. Ooh, look at that. Texas Chainsaw Massacre. They did a good job with this. All right, there are 18 pieces. His face, clothes, two arms, chainsaw, two feet, a butt, base, and a bunch of other random pieces. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this about maybe right there. So I can just see everything while I'm setting it up. But I want you guys to be able to see it too, so I'll move him over. Alright. First things first, I gotta find the base. Base in the front of the base, insert the bottom of the right shoe into the right pole of the base, snap lock the right leg pole and foam into the base. Okay, so. Oh, that's right here. Base is right in here. So we've got to detach all this stuff from this box. Try not to break anything while we're doing it. Okay. 
Here's the shoes. That's the leather face of shoes right there. All right. We got a couple things over here to do. That's his face. And that's for the base. Okay. You always got to be super gentle with these because I've heard a lot of bad things about like Spirit Halloween's uh, animatronics. This is from Halloween City, but probably made by like the same people. So you got to be real gentle with these. Um, you never know what kind of quality you're going to get. I've heard stories about the bases being really uh, bad quality and falling apart like bad weld jobs. Okay, so I detached Leatherface. Now I can lift him up. I'll give you guys a good close-up of his face here if I can do it without breaking the entire thing. <laughs> Oh my gosh. There he is. Look at that. He is great. <laughs> I love this. I was so excited to buy this thing. All right. We got to set him somewhere where he's not going to get damaged. So I'll just lay him flat right on the floor in front of you guys. And then when I need him, I'll come and get him. And his butt, I'll just put over here. Try not to step on it while I'm moving around everything else. This is the one thing I might need to find a tool to open up because I don't think I have anything. I don't think I have any tools. Oh, I hope I don't need any tools. Sometimes you need tools to set these up. If I need something, I might have to run downstairs and get like a power tool. But I'm looking to see if I have anything in my closet here. I have to run down and get a knife. Let's look over the directions and see if we need any other tools before we run downstairs. 90 people watching. You guys are crazy. All right, we got 61 likes. Please like the video, guys. Let's see if we can get that up. All right. Uh, connect that, connect that, that. Connect, connect, connect. Hooks, connect, connect. I don't think I see anything that says to use screws. So that's good. Uh, sometimes you do need to use screws. Sometimes, uh, or yeah, it'll, it'll tell you to use like a drill or, or not drill, uh, like a flathead or a Phillips uh, screwdriver. So I'm going to run downstairs real quick and grab my uh, knife to open this stuff up. I'll be right back. Hey, you know what? I found something that might work. I got this. That worked. Good. Okay, I'll show you guys what's in this box. This is cool. All right, we've got. Let's see if I can get it out here. Not damaging it. <laughs> Look at that. It's Leatherface's arm holding the chainsaw. 
see if we can get him on the raft here. This is awesome. I am so happy to have this. There it is. <laughs> cool. There's a chainsaw. Wow. Now I see screws on here. They screwed this in. I wonder if you could unscrew this and add something in there to make it to where this could pull. Um, but as if you could modify your animatronic to do something like that. You really can't, but uh, that is cool. All right, there's his hand holding the chainsaw. We'll put that on the floor. And various pieces in here. I'll put these over here on the table. But there's also, there's the keychain on his wrist with the bells and the uh, other part of the chainsaw. Man, I'm so excited to set this guy up. I've had him sitting here staring at me every day and I've just been thinking, man, I can't wait to have him set up in the office. So I am super stoked to get them all put together. May as well take this out of the plastic so we can uh, have it all ready to go whenever we're ready to connect everything. Well, I don't want to break anything, so I might have to rip the plastic on there. <laughs> Can't we at least agree he does need Aquafresh, yes. His teeth are nasty. There's a little keychain. <laughs> All right. And we got some various poles and pieces here. Just gonna put them off the side on my desk so that uh, as we go through all the directions, I can run over and grab them. These foam pieces, it's probably for his arms. Something, we'll get to that one whenever it comes to it. And here's the blade for the chainsaw. And another piece right here. Some kind of piece right there. All right. Hopefully this isn't too complicated. <laughs> I don't think it will be, but you never know. All right, so we got the base and these are his clothes right here. We got all his clothes wrapped up. Let's get this untied and take a look. All right, ready? Oh wait, this is the apron. Nice yellow apron. Man, I'm so psyched to have this guy set up. There's the apron. <laughs> I imagine people people who get him are probably gonna customize him. I might dress him up as uh, like different leather, different versions of Leatherface from different movies. Um, but we'll see. This is a pretty good uh, apron. It's like. Not very, not too thin. Decent quality. And then his clothes. There's his outfit there. Sweet. <laughs> cool. All right. I should have uh, changed the name of the uh, live stream before we came up here to let people know that we're doing a uh, leather face setup. Alright, I gotta get this guy detached here so, so I can get the base off. If I had some scissors I could just cut it off, but I wasn't really thinking about it when I was downstairs. Did anybody else buy any animatronics from Halloween City this year? I bought Leatherface and I bought the drop-down scarecrow. 
I'd like to get uh, Spirit Halloween's uh, Howling Spirit, the ghost, but uh, we'll see. I've heard a lot of bad things about the animatronics this year, and I've seen so many broken ones, so I just don't want to uh, buy something and then it's broken right away. That would really not make me happy. So, all right, we got everything unpacked, except for his shoes here. Let's check out his shoes real quick. Uh, the shoes remind me of uh, um, Hocus Pocus, the bullies on Hocus Pocus. There's the shoes. <laughs> yeah, I love Hocus Pocus, the first one. The bullies are my favorite part. Hilarious. Howling Spirit, yes, that is one of my favorites from Spirit Halloween this year. Darling Dolly is, but uh, I don't know. Paint the box. What do you mean? Paint the box. Hi, rubber band. Paint what box? <laughs> what are you guys talking about? Paint the box. Okay. Let's go through the directions here, get started on this. Facing the front of the base, insert the bottom of the right shoe on the right pole of the base. Snap walk the right leg pole and foam onto the base. Match A to A. Okay. So this will just drop right down like that. Yeah. Okay. And then it says uh, facing the front of the base, insert the bottom of the right shoe onto the right pole. Okay. So the right shoe. Which one's the right shoe? It doesn't say which one's the right one. I think this one's the left one. Uh, that's my first problem. <laughs> they didn't put stickers on the shoe to say which one is which. And they're like both the same. already ran into an issue. Uh, oh wait. Number seven is the right shoe. So the right shoe has this longer hole on it. So the right shoe uh, right here Insert the bottom of the right shoe onto the right pole of the base. Snap lock the right leg pole and foam onto the base. So that would be this one. A to A. Okay, well my thing is, my issue is it's not like sitting on there. I suppose that's right. It's just not going to like sit flat. Okay, well, that's how he is. I guess that's how it's going to be. A to A. And, yeah. the first couple steps done <laughs> and then insert the bottom of the left shoe onto the left leg honestly this might be pretty easy I was thinking it might be a little difficult but it seems like this is gonna be 
a little easier than I thought it was going to be. Okay. Pole just goes straight down on there with that foot. Connect B to B. There's B. Look at your guys' comments real quick. Hello, Bluey. Sandra, you're correct. <laughs> Hello, Maria. Good to see you guys. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Thiago, hello. Got 88 people watching. Guys, give the video a like if you would, please. That'd be great. That would help me out a lot. Um, we're building Leatherface. We carved a pumpkin earlier, and now we're building Leatherface. All right, so my next step is to slide the pant legs of the clothes over the assembled leg poles. So, got to get them dressed. Let's see here. Put the front and the back. Nice. How's that work? <laughs> Hold on. See, it doesn't... You can't just slide them on, can you? Oh, yeah, you can. Okay. So, like this. Yeah, I feel like this is going to be a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I've been, like, thinking this is going to be a little bit, uh, hectic. The Nightcrawler was a hectic one. It wasn't too bad, but it was a little bit hectic. There was a lot of steps. Step is done. We got his pants on. We'll get those straightened out a little better once we get everything else on here. Let's see. Uh, to ease assembly, partially insert both C and D at the same time and apply pressure to seat the hip frame onto the leg poles. Snap and lock the hip frame to the leg pole and foam. Blah, blah, blah. C, C to D, D. Okay. So. D, that's D. I see what they mean by that. Wow, that is, that is going to be a little bit tricky. Shouldn't be too bad, though. It's a little tricky. Let's see here. There we go, that one's in.
This one's kind of tricky to get in though, just because the angle's kind of funny. Oh, okay, okay, I got an idea. Huh? There we go. All right. I had to kind of angle my arm. If you guys get this uh, animatronic and you're trying to set them up, you got to put your hand right here and your forearm, or not your forearm, but your arm right there against this pole. And then, like, after you attach this one, get your arm like that and twist it to where this, your arm is pushing this that way, and your hand is pulling this part this way. So it kind of twists it into the right angle so that fits in a little better. So there's a little trick to that. 82 people watching. Thank you guys so much for being here and watching. Tricky, 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 Peter said. Yes, super tricky. Not too bad. <laughs> Not actually super tricky. All right. Um, snap lock hip to frame and the right leg pole and foam and left leg pole. Was the foam supposed to... Eh, I think it'd be all right. Okay. Our next step is to snap lock the torso frame and control box to the hip frame. Where is that? Is that that thing? It is. Well, what about Leatherface? Okay, so I, the next step though, hold on. Connect the head and shoulder frame to the torso frame. Okay, so EDE, -E, it's supposed to be F to F, but F is already connected to F. Ugh. So this whole thing, I can just set up, like just attach right onto here probably. Look at that. He's not even in the camera frame because he's so big. Oh my gosh. All right, hold on. I'll try to get you guys a better look. See, that's going to be too... Wait, I got an idea. That's kind of better. <laughs> oh my gosh. Wish I could put it like that. Can I do that? That kind of works. As long as it doesn't fall over. How's that look, guys? It looks better. Now you can see the entire leather face. Oh my gosh. Don't forget the butt. Yeah. <laughs> Who said that? Peter Rowland said, don't forget the butt. That is too funny. Yeah, I can't forget that. They haven't mentioned the butt yet in the directions. But don't worry, we won't forget the butt. All right. The butt. That is hilarious. Okay. We got the head and shoulder frame connected. That already came connected. These two things. Insert the rear. The rear. <laughs> That's what they called it. Insert the rear blister to the back hip frame. Match red to red and green to green. Okay. So now we are going to attach Leatherface's rear, his rear blister. Jeez, Leatherface. That's a big rear blister you got there. All right. Hold on. It says red to red and green to green. So there's just these hooks here. Is that it? I don't see any green on this, but I mean, I know what a butt looks like. <laughs> so, there we go. His butt, his rear has been blistered. Yeah, I don't see any colors, but obviously, Obviously, we know what a rear looks like, so we know where that goes. All right. That was step number eight. This thing has been very easy to set up. I was intimidated at first. 
Connect the springs located on the head and shoulder frame to the hip frame. Match yellow to yellow and blue to blue. So there's blue, there's yellow. So, hey, you know what I just realized, guys? Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this guy going in my office. He's pretty tall. Uh, I might not be able to activate him in the house. Six and a half feet tall. These are eight foot ceilings, but he lifts, he lifts the chainsaw up in the air. So, uh, I didn't think about that. Huh. Well, we'll cross that bridge. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. What do you guys think? I didn't realize that. We'll get them set up anyways. All right. So I got to connect those, those springs. Yeah, I didn't think about that. He lifts the chainsaw up in the air. But I don't remember if he lifts it all the way up or just like in front of his face kind of. So there we go. That was easy. like that and next step adjust the clothes over the blister head and shoulder frame check the rear blister to ensure it's secured okay so now we can put his clothes over Try to be careful not to rip this foam in here. There we go. This dude is tall. I feel like I'm doing something wrong here. Looking okay so far. Kind of a tight fit. There we go. probably look better once we get everything set up good all right 88 people still watching thank you guys so much um okay next step where's his tie where does tie go what what did i do Did I pull his tie all the way to the back? I don't want to damage this by pulling on something. I like tucked his tie into the clothes behind him by accident. Oh no. I see what I did. I see. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Ties right there. Strings. Okay. Now we're good. Now roll up the the left sleeve. Oh, you mean like this one? Snap on the left arm to the frame to head and shoulder frame, match G to G. I got these pieces right here. These I am probably going to need scissors for unless I can muscle these off here. Which shouldn't be a problem. Not a problem. Not a problem. 97 people, thank you guys so much. Backwards, what's backwards? The clothes? Nah, uh No, they're good. Armless leather face. I think the Velcro is supposed to be on the back. No, because look at his, uh, right here. This is the, uh, neck of his shirt. It looks good. But, I know what you mean. There is Velcro on the back, too. There is some Velcro on the back. So I think it's correct. My question is... Hold on, let's see here. Roll up the sleeve, snap and lock the left arm frame to the head and shoulder frame, match G to G. Uh, I think I was talking about these. So let me look at my pictures real quick. 15 and 16. Yes, okay. All right. Yeah, they did a great job with these directions, too. If you ever get confused about anything, they did a great job labeling these directions. So uh, not too hard to understand. And anything I did have a problem with, I just got, I just went back and looked at the, the list of the parts here. And uh, that helped me figure out what was wrong. Eh, there's nothing wrong, but... All right. So this piece is for his left arm. So... It says to roll up the sleeve. Oh, there's a bunch of um, stuffing in here. What in the world? Okay, hold on. Is the stuffing made like a sleeve as well? Yes, it is. Hold on. What in the world? I figured it out. G to G, right? Yeah. Wait a minute. What is that? Oh man, are we assembling with his arms up in the air? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, see, I don't know. Uh... My issue, guys, is that I had the same issue I had in the car was that he was too big. Um, so. His arms, I think, are, uh, 
going to be assembled upwards unless this can I mean it's not going to go down like left H to H they didn't label these that's the only part that I'm having trouble with I right, I J Let's see. So I'm having to hold on, guys. I gotta look at the directions and see. These arm pieces are kind of conf uh, confusing me. Just because if I put it up like this, I'm assembling him with his arm up in the air, and that can't be right. That couldn't possibly be right, right? J, J. So, perhaps, no, that one would be the same way. Roll up the sleeve on the left, the left sleeve on the arm, on the clothes, snap lock the left arm frame to the head and shoulder frame, G to G. Well, all I can do is figure out J right here, and I've got arms on the floor, This one, what is this? I, this is I. Wait a minute, are you guys talking about the, uh, the scan? The scan thing? Uh, uh, hold on. There you go. It just takes you to my YouTube. Take a screenshot or something. Yeah, that'll take you to my YouTube. Did that work? <laughs> Hold on, I'm trying to read your guys' comments here. Yeah, that you scanned it. Okay, yeah. That should send you to my YouTube. Unless I didn't pay the bill. <laughs> Turn around one more time, please. Okay. Let's see here. That good? Like that? Did he get it? All right. Okay, cool. Hello, Amanda. Amanda says, I'm new. Well, thank you for being here. Thank you so much for being here. I goes to I. So this will go in here. And he holds it. Okay, yeah, so this one goes right here. Like that or whatever. <laughs> okay, so this one's the one left with H, left sleeve on the clothes, left arm, uh, G to G, but that doesn't even say G, does that one say H on the next one, yeah, H to H, but I, I didn't even see, like, an H on there, unless, Behind this, it says it. Oh, wait. Let's see if I can see if I go back here. Just trying to make sure I don't put the arms on backwards. No, there's no... Oh, there it is. H. Yes, this is H. Man, they really put it in the worst place. All right. Let's see if I can do this again. Is that right, dude? Uh, 
up like that in the air. All right, we'll follow the directions and we'll see what ends up happening. <laughs> Jack said I'm new. Thank you, Jack, for being here. You guys rock. We're setting up Leatherface. Uh, I had some trouble when I came up to the arms because I'm realizing that he's going to be too tall for my for my room. I don't think I'm going to be able to have him in here uh, because he's too tall. Okay, so uh, G to G, H to H. So this one's G. There's a tip if you guys are setting this guy up. Put your arm through here from the inside out. All right. Nubby arm leather face. <laughs> oh, cool. He's looking kind of weird right now, but... Uh... We'll get them figured out. All right. Hey, thank you so much, uh, Erlin. Is that how I say your name? Erlin Andrews. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Um, we are going to... Uh, new here, too. I love your smile. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. We're setting up Leatherface. Um, Gru's at Nate killing Leatherface. Yeah, we're... Uh, Having some trouble with him. If I had him actually set up in here, he'll smack his arms on the ceiling, I think. I hope not, though. We'll see. Okay, next step, connect the left hand to the arm frame eye to eye. That one is this one right here with the keychain. Chingy, chingy, chingy. And I... Alright, let's see here. Hold on. Look at... Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I don't think we're going to make it fit. <laughs> He's about to touch the ceiling. So unless his uh, chainsaw is like aimed down a little bit, we're going to have some trouble. All right, J to J for the other arm. This might be the moment of truth. Here's the chainsaw arm right here. There it is. <laughs> awesome. All right, let's get it on there. Let's see what happens. Well, first of all, how am I supposed to reach up there? <laughs> I can put this arm on, but once I do, I'm not going to be able to reach his chainsaw. So, uh, oh, I see. Please note this is a one-time snap lock and the chainsaw blade cannot be disassembled. So once I put the chainsaw blade in here, I can't take it off. That's kind of odd. I wonder why they would do it like that. Kind of weird. Kind of weird. Everything else you can take apart, but you can't take the blade off the chainsaw. That's a little weird. Okay. Well, anyways. Yeah, I'm going to have to reach up there and... Oh, my goodness. Hold on here. Okay. As once you put that in there. I'm not that tall. What the heck? What the? So we go in there like that. The hole's right there, right? See, this is why I, I gotta put it together first. I don't know why his arms are up in the air already. Like, I can't just pull it down, too. It won't, it, like, we just won't go. I don't wanna break it. So. Well, 
Okay. Here's what we're going to do. So the trouble we're running into is his arms are already up in the air. And I don't think he's supposed to come with his arms up in the air like that. Unless I did something wrong. But I don't think I did. I really don't think I did. I mean, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this K to K, L to L, before I put it on there, which is kind of kind of a weird thing here. I don't want to break it. How do they do it in the directions? Connect the handsaw, blah, 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 K to K, and then L to L. They did K to K first, I think. You can't do like one and then the other, because I'm trying to show you guys what's what this is. So there's a hole here, and there's a hole up here, and that's where they connect. Cut on it. Cut on it? What are you talking about? <laughs> you did your best to call it done, Peter said. <laughs> You guys are just watching me struggle with this. My problem is I don't want to break this thing. That's my issue here. K to K. Okay. There it is. All right. So now. Now. That's why you don't they want don't want you doing it like that because because it'll do that. Oh whatever. <laughs> I push it down way too far. Button's not wanting to pop out. There we go. Got it. Okay. Then we can pull this up. Or it's not correctly. Whatever. Good enough. See, if I got the blade on there, he'd be just tall like just too tall without the blade he looks good how are you gonna get that down the stairs uh carefully very carefully <laughs> jay said you should play the game definitely i do have the game and i play it every once in a while um and i definitely want to play it again uh i want to play it on live on my gaming channel so i have a gaming channel called nightmare gaming if you go to this regular channel and uh look on my channels tab you can find that gaming channel I haven't really I've been uploading on there because I've been busy with the Halloween season, but after the Halloween season is over, I will be uploading on the uh, gaming channel pretty often. He looks good. A little bit of sprucing up to do. Now, 
it's too bad that he's just tall enough that I can't get the blade on there. If I put the blade on there, it's going to be touching the ceiling, and I'll give you guys a better view of that in just a moment. Um, but that is it, except for his uh, apron. So once we get the uh, apron on there, hold on, what's this say? Okay, I see. Yeah, once we get the apron on there, he's all good. And we'll have to take him outside to set him up at some point, because... There is just no, or you know what? I could take him in the hallway to set him up. I could take him in the hallway and show you guys. I really wanted him to be in my office, but I don't think that's gonna happen because he's gonna swing this thing up and hit the and hit the ceiling and he'll he'll bust. He'll break right away. That is too bad. Ah, why you gotta be so tall, leather boy? He's just barely. Too tall. Well, I love him anyways, but darn. Darn, darn, darn. Whatever. Okay, we'll get him all plugged in. Like, plugged in and plug in all these things here. Uh, which I need the directions for again. He wasn't too hard to set up, honestly. But here's the blade blades right here but once you put this in uh you can't take it out so uh oh asher said looking for your gaming channel now uh yeah it's on if you just go to my this channel um and then click on uh uh channels there's a channels tab then you can find my gaming channel my traveling channel both those channels i haven't posted a lot of stuff on yet uh i'm gonna be posting on them more as the halloween season uh comes to an end because during the Halloween season, I'm just mainly focused on this uh, channel. Guys, we're setting up Leatherface right now. Um, but he's too tall for my room, so I can't put the blade on. Um, I don't think I can. No, he's, he would hit the ceiling if I did that. If I put this on and plugged him in, he would whack the ceiling right away. Which is too bad. I wanted to keep him set up here in my office to sit behind me while I'm playing the game. But uh, that's okay. We'll get him set up anyways and turn him on like this. Because he can do this right here. <laughs> but if I put the blade on him, he's just going to whack the ceiling. All right. Let's get the wires all hooked up here. Everything should be as easy as just connecting letters to letters. So I think that's how it's going to go. There's the smallest hole on the back to uh, to do all this. Like just the smallest Velcro hole. O to O, P to P. Now, what in the world we got? Back opening the clothes, connect all assembly wires from head, shoulder frame, torso frame, control box, N to N, O, N, O, P is the only thing we got. And it looks like O and P are plugged in. The only thing we have to plug in now is N. And that's right here. So let's plug in. I'll plug him in and get him get him going in a second here, guys. We almost got him ready to go. Oh, we gotta get the uh, adapter set up. Got the adapter right here. I got an outlet right at the bottom of the wall there. I gotta put the uh, covers back on the outlets. I painted this office recently and I haven't had the time to just sit in here and decorate yet. But I can't wait to do that. I'm probably going to do a haul video where I'm going to go to the stores and buy some things to decorate the office. I do have a bunch of scary movies that are going to go on that wall right there. Right behind Leather Leatherface here. Okay. Plug in the 6 volt.
There he goes. Look at him. There he goes. He's putting his arms down, guys. I still got to put his uh, apron on, though. I forgot that part. Let's get him all fixed up here. Okay. <laughs> I love other face. I don't know about you guys, but uh, mom's decor is taking care of somebody who's saying something. No idea what she's been saying, but oh well. Thank you, Jacob, for being in here. Jacob, shout out to you for being in here, for being the... Uh, uh, mod for us. Jacob's been a great mod. Okay, so there's a piece of Velcro on his uh, tie and a piece of Velcro on here. So you can pull this up and then Velcro the tie onto the thing. We have a donation. Oh my goodness. Mark. Leatherface, other Nate, your Halloween lives are the best. Thank you so much, Mark. You rock. I appreciate that so much. You are awesome. Thank you for the $5 donation. I'm going to give it a little heart. I just now noticed I can heart the donations. So thank you so much, Mark. I appreciate that. Shout out to you. You are great. Thank you so much. I really appreciate the donations, guys. That is very generous of you. Super generous of you. to give me your hard earned cash. Look at this, just putting on the apron, just like completely, uh, is, just gives him the finishing touch. Look at that. I gotta tie it yet on the back, but he looks awesome. How cool, pulls pants down, oh my gosh. <laughs> his pants are connected to his shirt actually. You're not gonna see it from, you're not gonna even see the pants cause, uh, cause the apron, See if we can see how tight I gotta tie this thing. All right, there he is. There's Mr. Leatherface. How awesome. Make sure he looks real good here. Takes his shirt. How cool. All right. <laughs> How cool is this, guys? Now, if I turn him on, if I had the blade in here, he would whack the ceiling right away. So I can't put the blade in there, unfortunately. But let me take the blade out of here. I'm not going to put it on. Because I know it'll whack the ceiling. I just know it. I thought it took a while, Ashley. <laughs> it took me longer than I thought. Um, hello, Alcan. Shout out, uh, Sal. Wait, say hi to me. Name Sal. Oh, I see. Hello, Sal. <laughs> you guys are awesome. You guys are great. All right. Yeah, I can't put this on there because once I put it on there, it's on there for good and it'll whack the ceiling, which is really unfortunate. Let me uh, take this off the stand though, and uh, I'll give you guys a good, yeah, we're gonna fire him up in just a second here. Let me turn this around and give you guys a good close up of him. So yeah, he when he reaches up, he is so close to the ceiling, and I really don't want him to smack the ceiling with his blade, so I left the blade out. But look at those eyes. I love this thing. His eyes are so creepy. Oh my gosh, they did a great job with that. How great. Happy birthday, uh, Miss Jarita. Hi, Chelsea. Good to see you. Thank you guys so much for being here. 104 people. All right, look at the little keychain. You guys like the paint job in here? 
the blood. That wall's gonna be covered in scary movies. All right, let's get them going. We can uh, go around here to the back. And, or you know what? I'll set the camera up again. Uh, did I just... Oh well, anyways. I think I accidentally just did something, but I can't tell what I did. <laughs> I accidentally tapped on the screen and did something. Hopefully I didn't block anyone. Hello, Phoenix. Yeah, Kevin, we, are, we also had the drop-down Scarecrow, and I have uh, the Exterminator. I have my dad's young Crouchy, I think. Um, but I'm just setting up Leatherface tonight. All right, I'm going to turn him on, and he'll probably, he'll probably turn on right away and start swinging his blade. Let's see here. Let's do... Uh, Guarantee you my daughter is trying to sleep in the other room and I'm waking her up right now. <laughs> Poor kid. But there he is. He's on motion. He's going to go again. to turn him off though he is going to wake up my daughter if she's sleeping i don't think she even could sleep through this i'll turn his volume i'll just turn him off i wish we could get the blade on there but the blade would slap the ceiling so hard you see how how hard he lifts that chainsaw up um so if i actually put the blade on there he would he would whack that thing so hard there'd be a hole in the ceiling leather face would be broken that is too bad. Let's turn off this overhead light and see how this light looks in here. I've got this big old light right there. I gotta get some good lighting in here. I have to buy a uh, like a couple of mood lights. Uh, I want to get some red and green, or red and blue, or something, or just a couple different colors, and uh, you know, set them up to where they're illuminating the walls behind me because I want to do my gaming in here and have the camera like back here so that you can see Leatherface or whoever's set up behind me here. Um, and I'll have a bunch of movies on that wall, I believe. I might still change my plans about that, uh, but I think that's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna put Leatherface right up behind me or whoever. I, I, I wanna have Leatherface behind me, but as soon as I put that blade on, you know, then I can't activate him in the house. And that's just kind of defeats the purpose of having him. I wanna be able to set, to like activate him, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so, I got to think about what we'll have to do about that. That is too bad. If only I had 10-foot ceilings. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah, he, he's terrifying. He is, he is the, uh, the scary uh, version of Leatherface this year. There's, like, Leatherface um, from Lowe's is not very scary. Um, Spirit Halloween, even. Um, he's not even all that scary. This one is actually scary. Like, he throws that chainsaw up in the air so fast and screams. He can get super loud. So, definitely, this guy is my favorite leather face this year. So, and it's cool that there were multiple, um, multiple leather faces coming out this year. And I think they did that because the video game, well, a movie came out. Um, what was it last year, 2022, that the movie came out? And then the game came out uh, just a few months ago. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's why they did it. But definitely Halloween Cities was the best. So what do you guys think? 
of Mr. Leatherface. We've been live streaming for, for a few hours. Oh my goodness. We still got 93 people in here though. You guys are great. Great to have some people that, uh, that like to stay in the, uh, in the live streams and hang out. Yeah, I, I could do, I could just put the blade on there and then, you know, not activate him when he's in the house. But what's the fun in that? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I could get like an inflatable blade. I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to think about it. Or I could do a cardboard one. I could do a cardboard blade and stick it in there. First of all, I could I could modify this um, if I want to break it, which I wouldn't want to. Um, so I could just not touch this and leave this off because it said once you plug this in, there's no pulling it out. The way it's shaped right there, those teeth go into the plastic, and it's game over. You cannot plug it. You can't pull it out. So I don't know why they did that. That's the one thing I don't like about this animatronic is that that is a permanent, uh, well, permanent attachment. So that's too bad. But if I wanted to modify it, I could put Velcro on here and Velcro in here and then be able to Velcro it like that. Um, it probably wouldn't be as sturdy. It would probably shake around a little bit, but who would notice? Um, what? Uh, cakes in? I don't know if that's how you say your name. He said, can he walk? No, he can't walk. That is too funny. When he screams, there's a flap of flesh. Yes, this the ear. The ear flaps on his face. I know, I love that. They did a great job with him. I do love this one. It's my favorite one so far that I've ever seen. Um... He's great quality. His face looks great. They did great with his eyes. And what they did with his eyes is they're, they're detailed. Like, they're actual... You can actually see, like, there's uh, the eye in there. But the eye has a point on it, like uh, a cone. And uh, the way they did it, when there's some kind of light, or any kind of light around, um, a little bit reflects off of the, the corner or the point of the cone. So you can see, like, even if you look on my stream right now and you can see a little uh, dot of light on his eyes and it's just based, it's just how they did it with the, like a point on his eye. And I really like how they did that. Um, so they, uh, they win by a long shot. I wish the blade would move, but, you know, what are you going to do about that? So not too bad. And in the dark, you can't really tell anyways. I mean, it's an animatronic, you know, it doesn't have to be too realistic, but I do love it. My dog heard that and she just looked. <laughs> it's funny, Barbara. Um, bet it looks better in real life. Oh, it looks awesome. He's great. He is great. His arms are dirty. I don't know if you guys can see uh, the detail on his arms. But his arms are super dirty. And uh, I don't know if you guys can see his face too well right there, but... He is great. They did an amazing job with this leather face. Definitely my favorite for this year. Jaw. Hello, Jaw. Um, Bazid, is he real? He's as real as a donut. He's somewhat real. They look like real arms. Yeah, they did a good job with that, huh? Yeah. Yep, it's just too bad that I... that. If I put the blade on there, it's gonna whack the ceiling. I don't wanna, I don't wanna break my ceiling, and I don't wanna break my leather face. So I'm just gonna leave the, uh, leave the uh, blade off for now, because I wanted to have him behind me during my video gaming live stream. Um, I really wish they would have made it to where you can detach this. It's a one-time attachment. What is up with that? Not too bad though. I'm not complaining too much. He needs the aqua fresh, yes. That was one of my dad's first viral jokes. Thank you, Dead to Sin. I just saw your comment saying you did good a good job with him. Thank you. I thought it was going to take me longer than it did, and I was kind of lollygagging. Um, I was going to rush through it, and I was like, nah, I'll just do whatever and take my time. It's the weekend. I'm not really in too much of a rush. I'll get the lighting set up in here uh, a little bit better one of these days. I'll have to go buy some lighting because right now this light is just super bright and doesn't look great. 
Very detailed, yes. Super awesome. Um, hold on, wait. I'm missing your guys' comments here. Uh, hello, Nico. It's not fair, it's leave. I don't know what you mean by that. Are you going to do a video on November 4th? Mm, I don't know. Uh, why? Is that your birthday? <laughs> That's, people, that's usually what people ask for. They want a, a video on their birthday. But uh, I don't know, because uh, when Halloween ends, I'm going to start doing Christmas stuff. Not immediately, but uh, at some point, I'm going to start doing Christmas stuff after the Halloween season ends. And then uh, after Christmas, I'll probably go back to doing like the toys and stuff, looking for the cool, uh, the cool toys and gift ideas and stuff. Um, cakes in your crazy. Uh, let's see. Hello, Ja. Hi, Joseph. Hi, uh, Stephanie Roland. When are you going to light up the pumpkin? The pumpkin is lit up downstairs in my kitchen right now. <laughs> he's he's uh, lit up in the kitchen right now. I left the candle in him. My wife might have blown him out whenever he, uh, whenever uh, I came up to do this and she, and she might have gone to bed with a baby. If the baby could sleep through the noise of Leatherface, he's loud. I'm sure everybody outside heard that too. My window's open right here. People probably heard uh, Leatherface going and were like calling the cops. <laughs> do you like Michael Myers? Oh, yes. Yes, I do. Um, Halloween is my one of my favorite movies. It's just a classic. Um, yes, he's accurate. Super accurate. What's up, Nathan's Productions? My name's Nathan as well. Spooderman said, hey, I'm a big fan. Can you read this? Absolutely can. The noise of Leatherface. Yeah, the noise is absolutely terrifying. He does a good... They did a good job with him. Super good. Still 84 people watching, guys. But we'll end the uh, live stream in, in a minute here. Just wanted to talk to you guys after getting Mr. Leatherface set up. I'd love to activate him again, but I, I'm pretty sure that my uh, wife is putting the baby to bed right now. It's already 10.30 at night. I probably woke the baby up whenever I got Leatherface going, unfortunately. <laughs> the poor girl. I'll have to go help her with him with uh, the baby. What are those? <laughs> you guys are crazy. All right, guys. Well, we got Leatherface set up. We did carve a pumpkin. We had a good stream. Probably got a ton of views because I've been streaming for a few hours. So, uh, thank you, uh, Yetziri, if I'm saying your name correctly. I hope I am. Mario said, stay awesome. Thank you so much, Mario. Kex, uh, Kakeson said, I am nine years old. I'm 20, 25. Isn't that crazy? I'm getting old. Ashley said, enjoyed the live. Awesome. Thank you, Ashley, so much. Jacob, thank you for being here as well. Jacob is a good, uh, a good mod. Always make sure to keep the spammers out. <laughs> Your brother's name is Nathan. Awesome. I know a lot, I know a lot of Nathans. All right, guys. Um, well, you're welcome, account. Thank you for being here. All right. Brogan Bros. Hello, Brogan Bros. We just finished setting up Leatherface and we carved a pumpkin, uh, but we're getting ready to wrap up the live now. We've been streaming for a few hours, and uh, I got to go help my wife with the baby. Hello, uh, uh, Varia. If I say that correctly, I'm terrible at pronouncing names, guys, so I'm sorry if I say your name on uh, the wrong way. All right, guys. I love cookies, says hi. People are still joining. That is crazy. Uh, you want to see the pumpkin lit up. Um, I'll post a picture on my community page because uh, I got to end the live and go and, and see the baby um, and try to get her to sleep. So I'll, I'll post a picture. I'll take a picture of it and post it on the uh, community page when I get off here and after I get the baby to sleep. All right, guys. Yes, I will stream the other, uh, setting up the other one I got from Halloween City. Um, and that is the drop down scarecrow. We'll set him up another day. Hopefully, he is not too tall for the ceiling, but he might be. Uh, all these animatronics are pretty tall, and I didn't really think about that when I bought them, but that's okay. I love them, anyways. So, all right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys. I appreciate all the donations. Um, you guys are amazing, and I, and I really appreciate everyone who stayed in here for such a long time. A bunch of you guys really were here, like, pretty much the whole time, so that is awesome. Thank you guys for all your support. We've got, like, 56 or 57,000 subscribers now. That is amazing. 
Everybody's saying goodbye. Thank you so much. Goodbye, Sandra, account, Sanchez family. You know, uh, let's see, who else is saying? Nathan's Productions, Marilyn, uh, Rena. Thank you, Rena. I think I'm saying that correctly. Rena, Rena Gomez. Um, Mason. All right. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate y'all. I'll see you later. Happy Halloween.